Let's go to Mark chapter 8, verse 36. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Give me a second, please. For what shall it profit a man or woman if he or she shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? It is not wrong to work two or three jobs. It is not bad to go to college or go to different schools to try to get a better career, degrees, so on and so on. There is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong to work all day long, as much as you like. But it becomes a problem when your focus is on gain, in this world and you are not focusing on things that pertain to God. Now, if you have to work two jobs, perhaps, you know, you have like so many kids or you bought cars and homes and stuff like that. So because of what you have done in your life, Perhaps you need to work two jobs or so. But when your main focus is on money and things and you are not so concerned about God, what does it profit you? Look, we don't know when we are going to die. And I tell this to almost, not everyone, but I say this often to people, we can die at any time, but you are so concerned about your image, your money, doing things that you want to do without God and stuff like that. Look, man, you can die at any time, at any time. I know that you believe that you are going to live until you are like 80 or 70 or something like that. You can die tomorrow. So all the degrees that you received, all the honors, money, gold, silver, diamonds, all the stuff that you may have received, what good is it when you die? You know that you can't take anything with you once you die. They can bury you with your diamond rings and your gold and your money, but you are not going to take that with you in the afterlife. The only thing that you can take to the next realm is the things that you have done, as in the only thing that is going to matter in the next realm is how you lived your life. That's it. So why are you focusing on trying to have a great life on this world. Now, if you are serving God, and if you are placing God first, hey, you can work until you drop. <laughs> if you want to do that. I don't know why you want to do that, but you know, hey, some people want to do things in vain, I guess. If you want to work until you drop, hey, that's you. As long as you are doing what God wants you to do, you can do that. But for many people, they can only see what is in front of their face. 
they can't see the long end like one day they have to die <laughs> they can only see their enjoyment or their plans while they are on earth what is the point look what is the point to work day and night and let's say that you get the things that you want what is the point working day and night yes you are making three thousand five thousand six thousand dollars a month so on and so on but everything that you have everything that you are going to buy all the time that it took to get those degrees and all that stuff there once you die that's it you can't take anything with you so what this verse is saying it is better for you to be poor it is better for you to be poor than to have so much and ignore God focus on things that pertains to God that should be your first focus then everything else people work so much that they have little time for God or they have little time to listen to teachings reading their Bible, praying, and stuff like that. Why you are... What if I told you, my Lord, what if I told you, I want you to build a Santa castle. And this Santa castle is going to take you one year to make. And I told you, and let's say that I tell you, after you take that year of making that sand castle, I am going to come over and kick it down. <laughs> you know, day and night, five hours a day, you have to make this sand castle. And... It is going to take you a whole year to make this Santa castle. And I tell you, right when you get done after that year, I am going to stomp down that Santa castle. Are you going to do it? No. Why? Because I am telling you that I am going to destroy your sand castle. So you are thinking to yourself, it is a waste of time to make that Santa castle if I am going to destroy it afterward. Took you a whole year and I may be able to destroy it within an hour or so. It would not be worth your time, right? What's the point of building something for a whole year, placing all your time and effort not so much all your time, but placing so much time in it and effort into it for a person to come by and destroy it. It is a waste of time. Okay, you are only here, you are only going to be here on earth for 80 years, right? You are working so hard. You are doing so many things to do the things that you want to do. But once you die, isn't it the same thing as building that sand castle for a year than for a person to destroy it afterward? What is the point? You are giving this world more time than God. What is it profiting you? What are you, what does it profit you 
to spend so much time in this world when it is a waste. I just told you how you lived your life is going to carry on to the next realm. So the only things you do in Christ are going to last. Your good deeds, how much you pray, how much you read the Bible, how much you do things for God, that is the only thing, those are the only things that are going to count. Do you think God cares about how much you worked at your job? Hey God, I worked 50 hours a week at my job. You did that for you, not for God. Hey God, you know, I was doing all these sports and stuff like that. That is for you, not for God. You are going to be rewarded based upon what you do for God, not for yourself. Yes, you may be able to get five cars. You may be able to get large homes and gold rings and diamond rings, gold teeth and stuff like that. You may be able to do all of those things, but what does it profit you to do it? You are wasting your time. I don't know if this makes any sense. When you go to heaven, or if you go to heaven, you are going to be there forever. So if you want much things in heaven, it all depends on what you are doing for God now. So if I told you, in order to get much things in heaven, what you should be doing is praying more, reading your Bible more, doing, doing, doing all of these things more. And you say that you want much things in the heaven as well, but at the same time, you are focusing or placing more of your time at your job or doing other things that are that is not going to last long. Does that make any sense? What do you profit from gaining or placing so much time in this world just doing things for yourself? If you go to heaven, you are going to be there forever. You are only going to be here on earth, perhaps 60 to 80 years, but you are placing more time for yourself in this world, trying to gain in this world and not focusing on what really matters that is going to make your life better in heaven. My Lord. So what you have good cars? So what if you have a nice home and stuff like that? You have to leave earth. You have to leave those things behind. Why not focus more of your time toward kingdom purposes? As in trying to get people saved. Trying to bring more people to God but you are focusing on things that is not going to last long. My Lord, 60 to 80 years to eternity, earth, <laughs> 60 to 80 years, heaven, forever, earth, 60 to 80 years, heaven, forever. You are placing this in this. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. You are placing this much effort into this when you should be placing this much effort into this. 
<sighs> My Lord, I pray that this makes sense. So let me stop here. God bless.